President Trump vows to revisit DACA if Congress fails to make progress on immigration reform. His promise comes after Catholic leaders and other groups cried out with concern. Correspondent Mark Irons begins our team coverage from the White House. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. President Trump says he has no second thoughts about his decision to allow young, undocumented immigrants to be deported, but he's leaving room for review, telling lawmakers they have six months to fix the issue in a way that puts hardworking American citizens first. Thank you very much. We the president drops the DACA program into the hands of lawmakers, expecting Congress to achieve immigration reform. I hope they do. I certainly hope they do. President Trump discusses congressional priorities with the top Republicans and Democrats he invited to meet with him at the White House. Amidst all the talk of tax reform, funding hurricane relief, and raising the debt ceiling, Trump adds in a tweet, Congress now has six months to legalize DACA, something the Obama administration was unable to do. If they can't, I will revisit this issue. The president's message about dreamers comes right after his decision to terminate the program that protected the young immigrants from deportation. I have a love for these people, and hopefully now Congress will be able to help them and do it properly. Still, the Trump administration has already begun unwinding DACA. They have halted new applications, and they are forcing DREAMers to reapply for work permits before October 5th. But current applications will continue to be processed, and existing permits remain in effect. The Trump administration says ending DACA this way provides the best opportunity for DREAMers. You can have an orderly wind down by the Department of Homeland Security over the next six months, giving Congress time to act. President Trump still faces a lot of pushback from Catholic bishops across the country who denounce his decision. And the University of Notre Dame president, Father John Jenkins, is defiant, saying Notre Dame will continue to support DACA students financially, maintain their enrollment, even if Congress fails to act. The president said today he would like to see Congress come up with an immigration reform plan that includes good border security and a DACA plan where everybody is happy. Lauren. There are a lot of other issues facing Congress and the president. What is at the very top of the president's list? Well, tonight he's at an oil refinery in North Dakota pushing for major tax overhaul, something that has been accomplished since the Reagan presidency. Correspondent Mark Irons at the White House. Thank you, Mark.